Welcome back to another Dominations event, this time brought to you by the great folks over at the Sandbox. Now look, last, in, last few videos I've talked about Sandbox, but I really want to put a special highlight in this video on the proud folks over at the Sandbox, okay? So one thing I want to talk about is the, the game, right? The game right now is changing, the meta is changing, things are happening, um, different uh, plans, strategies are being made up, and, and there's just a lot of talk in the community. If you need a spot to ground yourself, and I recommend you ground yourself you anchor yourself to a community right now grab discord download the free app it's free you don't have to pay for anything um, click the uh, video uh, the, sorry click the link in the description I always screw that part up I'll put a link up here on screen you can you know just type that in and join the sandbox it's free no one's gonna harass you no one's gonna disrespect you everyone's there everyone's easy going you go in there you can read some information you can keep up with the latest trends the newest events the newest uh things that people are doing in the dami world that'll help you and your game and honestly you'll meet some really good friends here that'll really honestly just go a long way i know i have so just go ahead join the sandbox and be part of the team man all right so you know i hope you guys join the sandbox you don't have to it's optional right but for this event, I'd recommend that you also join to kind of keep up with what's going on. Especially, we got this channel called Draft Boards Nonstop Shop. You want to come in here and just check out what's going on for this event. I'd recommend you just, just sign up into Discord just to ch check this channel out. And if you want, you know, explore. Look at the Sandcastle. It's a great place, man. It's like general chat for the Sandbox. People talk there all the time. It's great. It's fantastic. Other than that... I'd like to run down first all the people that made this video possible. Not just this video. Come on, let's relax. Come on. All the people who made this event possible. This event is going to be sick, okay? So, first of all, I'd like to... Let's give a warm, warm, hand, of, warm hand of applause for all the people that are going to make this possible, okay? First person I'd like to thank is Wowzers. Man with the plan. This was his idea, but with the group helping him out, they've made this possible. But I wanted to really give a shout out to him and Lucid, Lucid Projection. Um, you can see his name as it's Lucid Projection backwards. It looks like Pterodactyl the first time I read it. I, you know. Anyways, the two guys <laughs> they helped out with the um, they, they kind of laid the the ground idea. You know, got into some of the specifics, and they really kind of got this rolling right. Um, I'd like to also bring up Strongbow. You see this picture that's right behind me. You see this picture right here. This thing is sick. This is professional grade like graphic art design this is amazing oh my goodness top grade i am telling you top grade so thank you very much strongbow this would not have been possible this gorgeous visual right here all the information on one page Woo! next level baby let's go next person i want to thank is d king d hoopster also known as the one and only he um, helped bring in some screenshots and other insightful information for the like troop cards allowed and, and that kind of stuff. And he's just been an awesome person in the community. Jima, she helped with the documents and the paperwork. She's also just a, a really nice person, um, kind of able to put a lot of things in perspective. Just a really amazing person to help out with this, uh, with moving the, all this along. Um, Dukes, who is going to be putting his uh, live uh, draft, the actual draft itself, on the fire pit on November 4th. Uh, which is going to be three weeks from Sunday. Hopefully this video goes out on Saturday, so that'll be three weeks from tomorrow. I'll have to edit that in if it's not. And then I also wanted to put some honorable mentions, but before we do honorable mentions, let's just go ahead and, and, and just give a round of applause for these people right here. This is the crew. This is the Sandbox admin team working together. It is actually amazing. I love watching people that want to go ahead and they want to, like, you know, sacrifice some of their time to make an event where people are going to have entertainment. It's just mind-blowing and amazing to see. Now let's get into some honorable mentions. I want a huge mention, guys. Huge mention to Quali, man. This is the second video I'm thinking Quali on. So I'm going to tell you guys right now. Quali is a guy, really nice, runs a lot of numbers. There's a lot of, like, creative feedback in the, in the background. And he's just amazing okay he doesn't ever get mentioned and i just want him to get his name to get thrown out there he is an amazing person the second time like i said video i've now posting that has his name on it i'm going to guarantee you we're going to probably be seeing this guy on a lot more videos that's just the kind of guy he is he's very very helpful he's just amazing okay so thank you very much quali i appreciate everything you do and that you're going to do because you're just an amazing person Second person I want to be um, to honorable mention is Gail Hu. She's also amazing. Has her own live stream. You see her a lot. She's the, the owner of the Hobbit Zombies. She is doing a live stream drafting the team captains on October 27th, which is hopefully two weeks from when this video goes out. 
on Saturday. So huge thing, man! Using your platform to go ahead and and um and you know talk about this event absolutely amazing this is what the community is about guys it's getting people together and having fun and when everyone works together and everyone uses their like creative space to kind of let this stuff like to, to kind of market this stuff it's actually amazing like i love this this is true community and i want you guys to be a part of this so go ahead like i said you know get into sandbox if you want and um be part of this event guys but now let's get on with the rules here we have uh, a link where i click on the link um, I'm going through to sign up and everything and when you get to the sign up page uh, which will look just like this and you'll see if you want to be a captain I want to be a captain because I'm not an actual admin um, you can't be you know so I'm gonna go ahead and be a uh, team captain Cold War that's what age I'm in and then this part right here so three strengths you want to share with your captains need a description so that they can know where like you know you know what kind of you know what kind of stuff you bring and and how to just really it's really just to mark yourself into uh, getting drafted honestly so this is like your resume Type in what, you know, type in what, you know, what describes your account, what describes you, and um, from there we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go to the next part. Okay, thank you guys for making it this far of the video. We're going to just kind of run down some of these rules, not exactly in the same order, but just let me go ahead and break down how this event's going to go first, okay? So registration ends on October 31st, Halloween, right? The registration's open October 1st, so we've had this entire whole month, 30 days, to go ahead and register. Gale is going to announce captains on October 27th and the old-fashioned name drawing out of a hat way. Dukes goes live uh, with Ward on November 4th, and they will be doing um, the actual like draft, like all the um, like all the uh, you know players and stuff like that. The actual event will go live on the 9th. Okay, the draft will be pool style. So the first captain selects last on the first round, and the last captain picks will be first on the first round. This will rotate for as many captains as we have. Depending on the numbers we're looking at, we're looking at like 20 to 25 E wars, no lower than 20, no higher than 30. We're looking at the kind of wars you would do with your alliance nowadays. On the fire pit, the draft selections will be made and once picked, the player names will be revealed. If you noted during the registration process, I said to mark it yourself. This is why. Your name is kept in the dark until you've been picked. Say what you have to say in during the um registration portion where it says three things about yourself your account whatever you want to say that's going to give you a higher likeliness of being drafted first that's what you want to say and that's when you want to put it this war we will have coalitions allowed um you can go 3d 3o be ready for that this event will be a zero stronghold event we don't want strongholds to be filled we want it to be kind of you know on a fair playing field and with that we're going to crack open into troop tactics but we're going to do it with expedition troops so um, those victory chest rewards, those dock rewards, those event cards, none of that is allowed, period. We just want whatever can come out of your expeditions, whatever comes out of, we just want whatever comes out of the expeditions, you know? So, you've seen those rock armies, those other kinds of, those cool armies, those are allowed. Um, the one thing that people are going to probably mention, and we want to just go ahead and cover this right now, is if you have an Enlightenment Age dock, you are allowed to use this expedition troop, which I'll show up on the screen. It's got one Mahout and one EA card. It's a very low level EA card. I want to say like a level three or level four, and it's only one. And you can use four of these if you'd like. Um, but like I said, they're very weak and they're in Enlightenment Age. But those are like the that's the only EA allowed in this event, period. Um, so that's just kind of how that's going. If you uh, want to see an updated list of troop tactics that are allowed. Go ahead and check the Draft Wars one-stop shop room that I highlighted earlier in the video. That's, that's going to be in a sandbox Discord. Um, this will be the place where we're going to have a majority of like all the updates to the event. Anything that you need to be aware of to help you be prepared, that's going to be in that channel. So make sure that you're you know keeping track of what's going on in that channel and that you're staying up to date on the latest news and the latest you know what's happening and honestly that's just like that's the place where i'm going to recommend everyone to just go if you're coming for this just for this um event that's the one place you should have your eyes glued on is that one channel okay the consequences of using an expedition troop uh, card that's not allowed is your one attack is void the stars won't count and you can retry on your second war hit your team will have to cover that attack in some way shape or form this will hurt your team so just make sure that you like i said keep up with the rules watch the video a few times maybe listen to this part a few times over and over whatever it is you know contact some of the admins and make sure that you know hey are these allowed or this allowed whatever you have to do to make sure that you're gonna you know not you know use you know 
a troop card that's not allowed to keep yourself informed, to keep others informed, spread the word, you know. This is uh this is what we uh you know would like you guys to do is just kinda stick to that channel like I said earlier and then um you know make sure so that you don't hurt your team and lose out attacks because you know you didn't know the rules. Um, the tournament will be single elimination. There will be a live bracket that you can check out by the time event goes live. We haven't set it up yet, we're working on it. We'll get it up when it's up. Once your team has lost, you as a player in the event are out of remaining wars. That being said though, we do not mind if you have an alt account in the war. Um, uh, you know, so just you can have alt accounts, but it would be pointless to bring a super low war weight sandbag style account because these matches will be forced by big huge games. They're not going to be like multiplayer matches or whatever. So that would only hurt your chances of winning. Um, but if you'd like to bring, like, I have a 188, uh, 188 Atomic, and I'll probably bring that in. That's fine, you know, it's, it's, it is that, you know, it's fine. Um, uh, should probably get 5 star like, by probably, like, an, an industrial, whatever, but, you know, I'm still gonna bring that in, because why not? I'll be, you know, that'll be fine. Um, please remember to have a good time. Any complaints, any feedback, any problems, just contact any of the six admins I mentioned at the beginning of the video. This is supposed to be a fun community get-together event that allows expedition cards, Maybe in the future we can open up to more troop cards, but for now this is a good start. Expeditions is something a majority of players have access to, therefore it just makes it more fun. And we wanted to have um, a fair, balanced way of bringing troop cards into an event. So this is kind of like where we figured, hey, this will be a good point to start. Um, do remember that the event starts on the 9th, okay? So this is huge, this is important. Make sure to prepare yourselves with availability a day before or so, that you're not stuck in a war or warlocked when the event starts. Communicate with the admins here or with res or with your respected alliance leaders to make sure that you are present when this event starts. We will be posting alliances for players to join in the channel as well. Remember that one-stop shop, um, Draft 4's one-stop shop uh, Discord room. I'm going to keep making like a point of that. Just make sure you're in there to keep track of the news, okay? Um, as far as prizes go, that's a big one. What are the prizes for this, right? Prizes go. Sandbox is giving away a perk level 11 alliance to the team captain. The team captain. Not the team, not the player. The team captain that drafts the winning team. So if you'd like to take on the responsibility of being a team captain and willing to communicate well with the admins and the coordinators of the Sandbox and have a good attitude about it all. That's huge. Have a good attitude about it all then please apply. Right now we are looking for team captains, so please go ahead, you know, when you're doing the app, the registration like I showed earlier, you can click on team captain, yes, um, and just make, and just know that if your team wins the, um, you know, wins that, uh, like the war, you are gifted a free level 11, like perk level 11 alliance, you can do whatever you want with it, you can give it away, you can hold it for something else, whatever it is that you want to do with it, that's your alliance, rename it, whatever, it's perk 11, that takes a long time to get to. There's nothing you can't even crown that. Like it's just a very amazing. That's probably the that's the biggest prize we've ever I've ever seen given out. So just you know, you know, you want to be a team captain? Boom, that's your prize. That's what you get for doing that. Okay. So um, that's all I got for all these rules. I wanted to go ahead and run this down and and just you know kind of talk about it. But um, before I leave, before I leave, I wanted to leave you guys with this one message. We will, we will rock you!